Louisville, Kentucky, man. It's going down. We right here tonight. Million dollars yes. worth of game, man. ESTG and yes. friends. Listen, it's going down a million dollars yes. worth of game, man. ESTG and yes. friends. Listen, man, Louisville, Kentucky, man. It's going down. We right here tonight. It's going, it's going to be a lot of big stuff going on. I might come out. What do you mean? I got a cut. We got one cut we did. We you might do that cut. Right My market, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm listening. I'm going to come. You feel me? Bam. Just straight like that. Like, you know straight what I mean? Right so there. it's going down a million dollars worth of game, man. We in Louisville. Way. Prison talent shows. Dude. Yeah, for real. Like, I'm, I used to tear the talent shows up. Yeah, so man. now when I jump on to join the X, come out. You ain't even know he was three time champion. Come out, you know what I mean? 13 years straight. I ain't know it was just three. They said 13 no, years straight. He had that bitch on back. No, them, them, them oh, he had three years back. The other years, I was just a backup single on them joints, so it was cool. So it didn't count. Yeah, they didn't count like that, but I had my own time where I killed it. But listen, it's going down me and I was every game. Listen, man, we in Kentucky, man. Louisville, yeah, that's it. Listen, right this shit, listen let me tell you something. This, he still ain't take right me right to the man. island, though. We ain't go to the island. I told him I'm trying to go to the island. I'm waiting for him. You know what I mean? It's a big day, man. It's going down. Say the best body girls out of food. Man, I'm happy out here, man. Stop playing with me, man. Where y'all gonna go eat at? Ain't got, you ain't got no way you pull that. The spots lined up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I don't know what y'all, I know y'all in Philly. Y'all be, y'all don't be eating no. We don't eat no pork. Boy, he don't be eating no pork. You want some pancakes, man. You just want some pancakes, man. But when they get lunch, though, chicken spot. And ain't no KFCs or nothing like it. We go Andy's, Chicken King, something like that. Watch, when y'all see this chicken. You know, the first chicken was different. Born in Kentucky. That was the first chicken album was down here. Kentucky fried chicken. Uptown, right there in the projects uptown, a couple blocks. Fuck out of here, man. First chicken. First chicken was born in Kentucky. Yeah, I told him, he's surprised. I already know how to deal with the Philly niggas because of chip. You feel me? I already got y'all for Dog, the, the first chicken was born in Kentucky in the projects. No, he think he think you talking about a chicken. He think you talking about a chicken. What say I do the motherfuckers make? I almost said quack quack. That's wrong though. What is this? What the do the motherfuckers? That's what he said. He know what I'm talking about. Bagad, bagad. That's what he said. One of them motherfuckers. Born Kentucky, the first one. That's why it's Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's why he stole Colonel Sims stole it from a slave. You know they got Bojangles sitting there. That's really the nigga that Colonel Sims stole it from. Bojangles. Yeah. He get the fuck out of it. Bojangles. Bojangles stole it from. Kentucky Fried Chicken stole it from Bojangles. Yes. Yes. His restaurant started years later. Bojangles started years later after KFC, I guess, or whatever it was at first. You think it's just bullshit. This chicken shit's deep, man. That's why we can't get past it. We still look like we in 1888 or some shit down this mother. Chicken Wars. Chicken Wars. That might be why Monday gonna start me a series, don't Yeah, Chicken Wars. I have serious. A hundred years later, they so how Popeyes come in? I don't know nothing about uh, Popeyes. Ah, did you now? You would have took that out and said you lying. They, 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 they Louisiana. He's an off brand nigga. We see how they was getting it up here and trying to go down there and do his thing with the hot sauce. Nigga said they off brand. Yeah, they off brand. They ain't really. You know. Hold on, man. I'm going to this nigga telling me the first chicken ever was born in the projects. And I'm going to take him. I'm going to get there and eat. We're going to go on the history lesson to her. I know y'all ain't been up to her and now we to the island. Yeah, come on. It ain't that far away. You right, right over here. He pulling right up right now. You in the water right now. You get on the highway. It's the water. You feel me? So this is the water right now. When you, when, you, when you get out the waters and out right where I live at, you feel me about eight minutes down the, up the highway, that's the island. You know what I'm saying? You on land. You Where your brother at? He got out? He on side, you on solid ground. Yeah. Let, me, let me explain something to you. 15 years. This was the job. I was gonna fight my kinks. But when they say they got a, a special, a special top flight witness, 
And Gil walked down to the stand. I said, oh, I'm done. Hey, I'm taking my time. Hey, I said, I'm done. I can't take it. I said, Gil hey, walked hey, walk, hey, walk down. Listen, hey, listen. He walked down. Listen, here. Don't be playing yeah, like that. Bumpson over dead yeah, listen, serious. Gil walked down. He had me. He did like this. Gil walked out. He had the tight suit on. He had his tie on. Yes, man. Do, do, do you know the man that committed the crime? Yeah, yes, no, that's right why there. That's why he had the coldest niggas in the world. Hey, what's his name? Man? His name Wallace P. How do you know him? That's yeah. my cousin. Yeah, he did that. Bro. I said, all up. Uh, I plead guilty. I said, I'm done. I didn't even man. know what he looked like. No. He had makeup on and everything. Man, they, they, said, man, they said they had him stopped. I said, oh, no, I'm done. Witness. Said, I'm they done. said they had oh, it. They said. They got me. The Gil walked down in the suit. Gil walked in with the suit on. I said, no, I'm hey, done. Hey, you dead ass nigga, you better not be laughing. Hey, hey bro, don't be telling nobody yet. Bro. I said, I'm done, doing man. I swear to God, look. Look, my brother here looking dead serious, man. I said, this I'm done. Dead serious. <laughs> Just trying to get in the game. And ain't got no money. All needed some studio time. Then, we got all the money, all the dick sucks, all the cars, the jewelry, the drugs. They got everything they need to operate. Now they can't get in the studio, man. You had a $600 oh, man, studio. I got it. I'll take a break, man. What are you talking about? When You never had to take a break when you didn't have no money and y'all had to go half on the drugs. What you got? Come on, man. Now you got unlimited, unlimited drugs. Sometimes that'd be a problem. Bro. Unlimited studio time. Nigga don't need unlimited nothing. You feel me? That's damn near unnatural. I'm figuring that out. You can't have it. You unlimited. But think about it. That's gonna make you look at it how you ain't supposed to look at it. But think about it. When you was at a certain standpoint, right? If a fucker said, dog, I give you all the studio time. You want to the lost thing out. That's all I need. It's on. It's up. Let's get it. Now, get so comfortable with them dick sucks. Doing, taking them to Gucci World. Yup, all that shit. Getting Gucci. Getting Gucci, Gucci World. World. Yeah. Yep. What the f is Gucci? You, you know, know that bitch get that Gucci, nigga. You know. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You know, you know. Hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. You use a Gucci warrior. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> get up. What you doing? Back up. Hold on, man. I got, I got sons, man. I can't let them, it ain't cool to play like that. Listen, all, but listen. all young men and young across the nation. Hold on, my bad. Back man, it's to, good, back it's good. good. All the young men across the nation, man. Whatever they just call the Gucci man. Yeah. Don't be no, what? don't go don't to Gucci listen, man. Listen, don't listen don't to him. Don't do it. You don't let him, you don't let him get to your, to, to, to your, to your cakes, man. No, nah, listen, listen, hold on, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Don't go to Gucci land, that's what it said, not Gucci man, my fault. Don't go her, cause, cause listen, once you go her, it ain't no way to get back. Yes it is, it's cool for her to scoop them nuts up and get, and get right up under the nuts. Man, listen man, you shouldn't have that much sensation back there, young man. It shouldn't be that much sensation to work. Come on, man. after she moved off me, Hagen, to where you, you just, you want her to stay down there where it get See, muddy, you, you yes. trip. You know what happened to you? You trip. One time, bitch was getting his Gucci, and then she oh, was, she God. swiped that, that, that joint like a credit card, no, no. and See, fucked him up for life. One thing about me, I always been, you feel me, in tune since I was a, you feel me? So, she before fucked I even him got up for fucking, life. Before I even got the fucking, I got the thinking, man, what, I, I don't never see this on the porns. So that shouldn't probably happen, you feel me? And so I always, I was ahead of the game. But a bitch go too low on the nuts. This is for the ex version of a million dollars worth of game. Oh, no, I'm not. A bitch go below and make, you feel me, McNuggets. Ain't nothing else down there for you, man. So you probably shouldn't be around me, you hear me? <laughs> Let me tell you something. First of all, if, if, if she don't get the nuts, she ain't, she ain't treat you, she cheat you, man. <laughs> hey, this is for 40 and older, man. Uh, look at him, look at him, Louis. Look, look at him. Get the camera on him, man. I'm just Take chilling, it off of me. He hopped off the plane chilling. like this. Chilling. They ain't snatch, they ain't run up on y'all in the airport. Oh, they was on us. They was on you? We ready when we up top. Come on, we going upstairs. The ball, is it open? Is it ready? This episode of Me and Olive's Worth a Game is brought to you by none other than New Hampshire Damn Vodka. Now, life ain't going your way. Shout out to New Hampshire and Vodka. Uh, you caught your woman cheating today? Shout out to New Hampshire and Vodka. You thought that check was coming and it didn't come your way?
Shot a new Amsterdam vodka. It's stilled five times. It's filtered three times to so a clean, crisp finish. Now you can drink it straight up. You can drink it on the rocks. You can drink it with juice, soda. Or you can just make a classic New Amsterdam meal. That's up to you. But when you're out and about at your local liquor store, make sure you get you some New Amsterdam. The official vodka for bar stool sports. And I truly don't understand why, if you're a fan of vodka, why would you would drink any other vodka other than New Amsterdam? Hmm? What are we talking about? New Amsterdam, get you some. Right! I jumped out of the plane, but I'm scared of them. Hey, you jumped out of the plane? You gotta jump out of the plane. You gotta try it, man. It's just like a rush. Man, it was all the way up there, man. I jumped out and they, they threw me out. Eyes open? Yeah, my eyes was open. Was it, was it, did you have somebody on you? Yeah, they was on back of me and the dude was in front of us on the camera just flying in the air. It was scary, man. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I, I had a video though where I'm standing on the edge in the whole time. Oh, you tripping? I ain't fucked with them edge. Just fuck that, what? All the shit a nigga been through, God ain't gonna let a nigga go like that. Not like that. God ain't gonna, I done been through some shit, but I know it ain't. It don't, the movie don't end like that. Like, you know, when I call you sometimes, a lot of times you go offline, you, you know what I mean? I be saying to myself, I don't be calling you really to, I be calling you to see how you doing. Cause I know it's a lot you going through that. The success come and all your brothers is not here to celebrate it with you. Yeah. I know that's it, like, you know what I mean? Cause seeing you from the beginning, seeing how y'all was, how y'all was coming, and now, you know, I know that's like it. It make me feel like sometimes I don't want to do it no more, you feel me? Because it be like, it ain't nothing with like the industry part of it. Like, yeah. I let people try to make up a room with it. Me and God, he was into it. I asked him like, are you, you, you see this, these YouTube videos saying that we, that me and you was into it? <laughs> and you feel me? I ain't, he was like, man, I seen them. I'm like, damn, but it ain't nothing that it's just really, Everybody that was pushing me, you feel me, was like, go to the studio and you feel me, that'll sit in the studio with me. Like a lot of them ain't here. You feel me, it might be two or three of them that's here now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Out of 25, we had 30, you know what I'm saying? So it just made me feel like on days where, as much as I didn't think I done grown and shit, but I might have been on the same type of shit back then. But only difference now, it ain't nobody like, Man, fuck it, come on, let's just go to the studio. We gonna go to the studio. Uh, as soon as we wake up in the morning, we ain't getting the day started. We going like, come on, let's go to the studio. I already got it booked for us, I already called them. I already called them, and ain't nobody doing that. So, a lot of times, my, you feel me? I don't know what you'll call it, like, yeah, whatever thought, it just take over, you feel me? Like, and yeah. I know, I, I get the going down. Feel me, something else that don't got nothing to do with music. You feel yeah. me? And it might at one day and not recording might turn into a week. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't got nothing to do with the music yeah. industry or nothing. It just be simply, you feel me, thinking yeah. about going here no more and then get lost in them thoughts. You feel me? And you know what's crazy? But you know what's so crazy about what you just said about how the homies went to jail and things changed for you? Yeah. The studio. When I went to jail. Gil was still rapping, and it was hard for him because I was writing all this stuff at the time. Fuck no, no, straight bro, up. You always it got, it got do hard it for him shit, because I was writing everything. Around. So it was hard for him to go to the studio because he's like, damn, cuz you. So I'm in the jail spitting the raps because I'm giving him the cadence over the phone from jail. I, write, I send him to him in the mail, but I'm, write, I'm rapping him on the phone so he can get the cadence. No, say it like this, say it like that. Wait, you are crazy, man. Every yeah. time we get to talk about some serious shit, he got the main way. If he had me ready to listen, and it's always, again, you always throw it off on gear. Every time. That's another ass nigga, man. No. You feel me? Like, I got, I got a, like a, like a, blueprint. Like, like a blueprint of, I know, like, what to do. I can save money on, save less niggas. You feel me? Yeah. Like, like, I know what I need to have extravagant, what I don't need. As far as my stage built, I probably never need to get that built again. You feel me? So the next time I go out and do it, it'll be, you feel me, even better. And I probably had 20 shows, I think, I think like 17 of them sold out. You feel me? And even with that, it was, it was, I ain't max it out. You know, in the club, I can get 100, 80, you feel me, 75. But 
on you know the ticket it shows them is 20 you feel me 15 30 the most one might be 40 you feel mm -hmm. them ticket shows is different yeah but it also it build up but see that club shit don't matter because you can go do clubs all around the world but when it's time to send you on tour they're gonna say bro you ain't got no proof of no ticket sales you ain't I know they said it. I just don't see how that. I kind of kind of understand it now, but it's like them ticket sales is like the real game. The shows them that don't even the club don't even mean. That. And then me figuring that out made me less. You feel me? Inclined to fuck with the club anyway. You feel me? I already don't go out. You know what I'm saying? But after I figured out like it really don't matter in the longevity of it. I'm like man, you feel me? when you first get in the game, you got to go do that. Yeah, you got to get your money. Your money. Yeah, even still, on. even still, I'm a hustler. I'm, I'm gonna go do it. Unless I got a tour coming up, I'm not. Because the reality of it is, is I could sit here and say that 99% of rappers in life, when shit slow down for them, they think about all them 80s, 60s, 45s. <laughs> Oh, motherfucker offered you one ten. Motherfucker offered you a hundred and ten thousand dollars, and you turned it down because you said, "No, I charge one fifty. Nigga, what? A nigga? Oh, see, I can't comprehend a nigga saying they gonna give me all this money to come do something that I love. That shit don't make no sense to me, and I'm like, nah, no. I, I'm smart enough to say, let's work something out. All right, nigga, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it for the 110 this time, nigga. When you double back the next time, nigga, you gonna have to give me 200 because this bitch about to be packed, bitch. You about to clean up. All right, all the promoters do the same thing. They double back. They give you, they give you a six month, seven month break. If you're hot enough, that shit might be three weeks. They bring you right back. So you're building relationships. Now when he call, you like, no, come on dog, I gave you that, did that shit for a buck ten last time. Come on, my nigga. What we do? All right, I'm gonna give you 170 this time. All right, that sound about right, all right. I don't, I don't be understanding. That, bro, yeah, I, I don't see, witness. I'm a grinder too, I, I, I'm a grinder too from, from, from pieces to, to, to the whole thing. Feel me, so I understand that, like, yeah, you gotta go get the money. But if once you understand it, once you get to your number that you want to reach or whatever it is, your feeling or however you you living, which I feel like in my head right now, I don't. It ain't that I need the money so much to where I gotta keep going. You feel right. me? So I rather do it the right way. If they saying that I can, if I get it down like this, just don't grind with the ticket venue mm -hmm. the way I started from nothing with the clubs. You feel me? And I got to cut that out, of, you feel me? And yeah, to, to lock in on that, yeah. I feel like, you feel me? It make more sense. Cause but you, but you, but you, the key word you said, you hustled up enough comfortability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You comfortable yeah. now that you can say, you know what? Ain't no person. I, I did that. Now I got to do this. I got to do it this way. But my money, I'm comfortable. Yeah. My family taking care of. If I got some kids, they taking care of. My mama cool. My, so. It's, I got to take out to the grave side today, my mama's birthday. You did my mama's birthday? Yeah, it's my mama's birthday. I ain't never been over there either. You never been there? Nah, hell no. Nah. I, I can't <laughs> never go over there. Right. Is it crazy? Cause the, uh, I tried to go, I the, just can't go. Well, today today is there, the man. day, go. like one year ago, the day my son got killed. Yep. Man. Damn. Yep. One year ago today, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, man, we got to go. It's deep. The A and R game has changed. Yeah, totally. Because like I was, I was telling somebody, I was talking to uh, Joe Mo yesterday from Mount Cali. You know, what you're doing? talking to him because he had did an interview with uh, uh, Cypress Hill, and he was just talking about how it ain't no A and R's like Cali. And I, I told him, oh, it ain't this Cali. It's that the new A and R's don't want to be in A and R's. They want to be rappers. These dudes want to be popular. A lot of them. You see that shit. Everybody. Like dog, why you got why you got better clothes on than the, the artist you represent? <laughs> and and a lot of these ARs, they not popping. Show me a popular AR and I'll show you a nigga that's not doing or a chick that's not doing nothing. Right. What record did you break? Who did you get popping? So it's too much flexing, it's too much like the 
Yeah. Our game is just like on some dumb I shit. I didn't even now. understand what the purpose of A&R was. The A&R was recently. this. Yeah, yeah, but the A&R was this. A&R was I a motherfucker what that came in. Supposed to do. I came in, they had regular clothes on, had a book bag on, a pen and paper, and they go from studio to studio. They get you features, they get you beats, they get shit cleared. They, they, do, they do all that shit. Get you, you know, help every way possible. They, you know, they help every way possible with what you're trying to do. They assist everything you're trying to do. But they make sure the end game, you know, nah, he got to get the clearance. He got to make sure, he got to make sure the paperwork is done for this artist that's featured on your stuff. He got to get, bring you some nice beats. They don't do that no more. They See, taking I, pictures. You feel me? I ain't ended when I came in. It'll be always truthful. They are, the A&R was put there a lot of times to monitor the artists. This episode of Me and I's Worth a Game is brought to you by Body Armor. Real hydration, real ingredients, packed with electrolytes, vitamins, and nothing artificial. Body Armor Sports Drinks has all your hydration needs covered. Sports drinks, light, zero sugar, and flash IV, and of course, sport water. One thing I like about the Body Armor, I like the water. You know what I mean? I'm a big fan of the water. So whenever you get a chance, no matter what product you like from Body Armor, you, you head on over to Body Armor Store on Amazon and use code 15 bar stool B A for fifteen percent off. You see it on the screen. Fifteen bar stool B A for fifteen percent off your order today. Head on over to Body Armor on store on Amazon and use that code and make sure you you get everything. You know, Body Armor Zero Sugar. You just just Body Armor has an assortment of drinks that hydrate you. And, and have you feeling where you need to be at. So when you head over there, just make sure you get you some body armor, right? This episode of Me and Osworth for Game is brought to you by PFL, Professional Fighters League. The PFL playoffs kicks off Friday, August 2nd, with women's flyweight and heavyweights headed to Nashville. It's win or go home as fighters compete for a spot in a million-dollar PFL World Championship. Don't miss the action Friday, August 2nd at 9 p.m. Eastern on ESPN and ESPN+. Plus. For those looking to attend in person, tickets are available on Ticketmaster. So don't forget to tune in Friday, August 2nd at 9 p.m. Eastern on ESPN and ESPN+. Plus. And tickets are available to see live the action right there. I mean, I'm That's what you like. You want to see that action up close and personal? That's what I like. Then tickets are available at Ticketmaster. And don't forget to tune in. It's the PFL, Professional Fighters League. What are we talking about? Right. See, I ain't. Yeah, I mean. I, 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 my own beats. You feel me? My own camera. You was going on a YouTube buying beats. My own. You feel me? I, I had Forever Rolling. That, I, I met Forever Rolling when I was on. Man, when I was on House Arrest, you feel you find it? Pulling up at the studio out here when I first started rapping, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the city. I pull up at the studio, he's like, man, I had put out like two songs, I think. And he was like, where you get these beats from? I'm like, I'm shit, YouTube. I'm telling him I'll be recording myself at the house and shit, you feel me? I'm like, when I get off the band, though, I'm going to be coming up, you feel me? Pulling up to his studio. He's like, man, don't get no more beats off YouTube. I'm like, what you tell? He's like, I'm going to make your beats for you. This is before he had a tag, you yeah. feel me? Like, he like, I'm gonna make them for you. And ever since then, that day, then when I finally got off after the rest, I sat in the studio with him like a whole month straight, you feel me? And we made the beats together. I told him like, you feel me? How I'm feeling, I want this right here. It wasn't no loops, you feel me? Like it was, he was doing it, you feel me? We did it day for day, you know what I'm saying? And I put out, I think I put out, I blood it. You feel me? Or the first El Toro. It was one of them. I heard Ball Forever. I was like, whoever did this, he was What's Ball Forever on? That shit when you first came. Got Ball Forever. That was the first time I was like, the first I video. What, 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 what uh, tape was that on? Um, I still, still don't feel nothing. Still don't That's feel nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Ball Forever. Back in the day, they. A&R's back in the day only wanted to be popular in the industry. Yeah, behind the scenes. Behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes. Okay, everybody in the industry Come knows me. <laughs> and when you think about when you think about some of the A and R's that's around now, them dudes was them dudes was a part of history making albums. Mike Kaiser, Kevin Lyles, Leo Cole, all them dudes was there for history music. It was history music that was being made. You know what I'm saying? Like 
and you know, and they still was around. really assisting on that shit. They was really, they really assisting, doing whatever they had to do for the artists. I remember Nicole asked me like, "You wasn't, what was you know, bees?" I'm like, "Man, nah." I ain't. She was like, "You were talking about <laughs> yeah, yeah, wasn't yeah, 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 like, yeah, was cool." Social media almost kind of made the A and R irrelevant because A and R's back then. You had to find a motherfucker with talent, but he didn't have no buzz. So you had to sit there and work with the nigga. Now, you y'all find niggas that's already buzzing. This nigga already created a buzz on his own. He already yep. created his own sound on his Toledo, own. Ohio. So how you gonna come in and tell me anything, baby? I'm already popping. Fuck you. I'm already getting ten thousand a show, twenty thousand when you niggas sign me. I'm gonna hear this shit y'all talking. Man, you, this bitch gonna tell me what to do? Shut up, man. Sit over yeah. the corner, man. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I fuck got a twelve thousand dollar kit. And I think I, I got more money in this bitch, man. Hey, Gil. In a wrestling match, in a street wrestling match, who you think? Who you picking? Who you? Yeah. yeah. You're tapping him out, brother. That's what I'm saying. Look at, look at you. Look at you. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. See, see, see? He, he wasn't even prepared for my attack. He didn't even know he'd look at it. That stance is, his nigga knee gonna go out. The guitar, real. His, knee, his knee gonna go out on that stance. That knee was a little hurt. See, I That's told you. He, he got a nigga, listen. That flared tendons, up. He got a tender knee. That up. He got that tender knee. Right. He hey, that gizzy. Hey, if you ain't cheating, you ain't winning. Four weeks. Hey, Scooter. Hey, you've been a bullshit ass dog up being fooled, motherfucker. No, 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 no. He actually spits bombs. He's a bomb. Don't know nothing, man. Bomb dog. Dead. If you put a gun on the floor, he'll get it. So he sniffed weapons. Josh. He done? Yeah, he done. I got him. Yeah, yeah. The door's open. You don't hit him again. Hey, make sure he has no bombs in there. Someone support the Yo, man, I need something to drink. Liquor? No, oh, regular drink. Yeah, regular. Water. Hey, juice Come on, let's go get you some water. Come on, let's go, man. We got some juices in here. The escalation is called verbal judo, brother. <laughs> I've been using verbal judo since I was 22 years old. Now, Marshall, I always got 13 black belts. That's what I was trying to tell you. You got 13 black belts in what? On the ground? What are you doing? Taekwondo? What yeah. you been doing? I created something new called Lo Kwando. Listen, verbal judo, I got a, I got a third degree black belt in that, okay? Yeah, I, I can hear. I hear you say it. I don't know. How you? Hey, how you? How you? Ladies, doing? Right. You guys know who this guy is? <laughs> I don't even know who you are. I'm nobody, man. <laughs> listen, I told you it was nothing in here. Y'all listen, listen, something back here. Snacks. First of all, they ain't nothing but back there but chips. There you go. Look at him. What's up? Ooh, they got that good cake. See, y'all acting up See? back here, sister. How you doing today, sister? Yeah. Hey, I miss y'all in Detroit. That's how you gonna debunk that yeah, cowboy. I wanna get my flick down. Remember I asked you about it? You got see? You got the zoom, 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 wham, wham. That gout is serious, Jack. Yeah, that gout is his feet, man. What up, baby? You, I, knew, look, I, knew you I ain't, ain't seen you today. Nigga. Hey, Jeremy, you gonna jump off the ground? No. Boom! He gonna he don't fall, man. I want me to come up from right here. Don't fall. I don't really like it. I did that up the feet. No, hold that time for me. We had to change it to just walk from the side. T, T, T. I don't know. I feel like my head popped out too early. Then they want you to bend that. T, T, T. I come up. I'm still like it. The motherfuckers all the way up. Let me walk straight out the. How they going to have this when I was on tour? Yeah, they got to have this. 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 See, you know the stages are smaller. They were like 2,500 people being used to like 3,500 people being used. Maybe the max five. You feel me? That was the one I told you. It was like 50, 40 something for the show. But you know the at 20,000, it's probably gonna be about a 2,000, 2,500. Y'all know how it goes. Yeah. You feel me? See venue. So instead of having the big ass screen, how we got it, I think we're gonna have one right here and then two on these sides too. So it's like a 3D motherfucker. But during the tour, I just had it like where the windows is at on the Indies. I, I gotta ride y'all through Indies real quick. Damn, we got time though. What time they say the doors open up? 7.30, so I mean, I probably got to be back to about 8.30, something like that. I know it ain't people coming in already. Right? No, I think doors are. Right. I think they working, ain't they? But on the tour though, at Indies, they got the two big windows, you feel me, the regular Indies restaurant. So I had the two big screens right here on tour. You feel me? That, that was like the windows, and that's what played the shit. But since I got a bigger stage, they got the screens, you feel me, in the background and on the sides. But they gonna put like some, uh, I guess like some drapes or something right here over, you feel me? And then they gonna come through the door like this. You feel me? Right. And then come through like 
Yeah, I'm supposed to have a little bench right there, but they probably left that motherfucker. That's how it looked right out on the corner of Papa Love. All right, the floor. Yeah, you you got think you. so? The superstar shit, man. Come on. This ain't trying to look wonky coming through that motherfucker. I told you they didn't get me like this a couple of times. <laughs> so, is that joint come up? You can lift your head. As soon as it opens up, you can lift straight up. So, you hear that? Now you come straight up. Picture with him, man. Hey, he don't, he don't, he don't. Hey, man. Hey, hey. First of all, first of all, I want you to know something. Don't take a picture with him, man. Listen, this guy, this guy is not. We need him down the county. Listen, listen, listen. Get the paddy wagon. Take him down. He need, he need a little three months. He need a little three months. The way you do that, it seems like you've been in the place this field a little bit. I know. I told you. I keep telling you. When you, let me tell you, you ain't do an arm bar takedown. Let me tell you When you had that shit done to you for 20 years, you understand. You understand. You don't take no pictures with these boys, man. Stop doing that. You peep that. You peep how I pimped you up real quick. Come on, don't do it. Don't fight. Come on, man. Come on down. You try to say it against some ass up in the joint. What you say? But you ain't see how I take you. Right, you know what's that? Right. Soon as you tell me, I'm gonna take your legs. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take your legs. Right, your money. You've been, you've been, you've been practicing. Next thing you know, man, I'm gonna need we come. Hogs, how you doing? We're about to go change. Next time we come back. Why not, man? I quit performing and all my chains. So that shit get the jumper. Mm. Might knock a n too fat one time. You swing wrong. Don't worry about it. You get money, nigga. Buy a new one, nigga. Right, right. <laughs> go, go, go give me a tooth, nigga. <laughs> That's gonna be a vicious night, man. They gonna say, man, they got him, man. The perks is finally caught up. <laughs> they gonna say, I'm on hard drill. He's on dog, man. We knew it. His teeth falling out. <laughs> Destroying fall. Colorado, so you might be down here. Uh, oh, I see that damn, baby. <laughs> 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 I, I see that damn, baby. I ain't gonna lie, dude. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> but I want to see you do your thing though for sure. Hey, King. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna see what I'm doing. You know what I mean? DJ. Yeah. So next year I should be in with the first pick of the NFL. The first pick of the ju with the with the with the fourteenth pick. No, no. With the no. What's the last? What's the how many teams in the NFL? Because we gonna win the Super Bowl. With the thirty-second <laughs> pick of the first round, the Philadelphia Eagles select. Yeah, yeah, you'll fuck with the Eagles too. They sock it in your pocket, nigga. Yeah, I was like, you think you talking about fuck the Ravens, man? Yeah, me. That's it, bro. Yeah, sock it in your pocket. Appreciate you. I'll make this dressing room. Man, play it. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where the dice at? All right, here we go. You know, I said what I said, though. Motherfucking dice. You know what? What? Yeah. Forty-seven. I'll cook you on that court, though. I'm doing it on the court. Everything you want to do. Deep fry shit. Court everything I'm doing. You know I deep fry shit. I see a little joke. That you know my name. Damien who? Don't, don't, don't get tongue tied now. Gillard. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Goodsell. I'm giving it to you on the court, man. Oh, no, Everything. You might lock me up, throw me no, out No, I ain't even talking about football. I'm talking about court, man. Oh. I'm real skilled. I ain't playing on bullet ball on that. Real skilled. That's all you need to do. Shit, 2v2, you do your last one. You know what I mean? Step back. Jumpers on be hit. Give me this little... Like that. You try to get one between consistent. No, no, that's, that's that's what I am. Consistency. We don't need the house lights. Turn the house lights off. Whoever makes some noise, we at home, right? What's up? What are we doing? Let's do this shit. Fuck it. Don't worry about it. He's a fucking <laughs> nigga. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They worked that nigga out. <laughs> yeah, me. They worked. They worked him out. You see that Louis Wallow? You see Wallow, man. Wallow. They told him what he got. They told him. What you got on, bro? Yeah, that nigga on different type of tag. Got a mayor on? Oh, yeah. I'm not Wallow, but I'm going to Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's, that's just a mess of the whole port. I drive a lot of keys. You're right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why keep it real? Yeah, silent. On the reform set. Cold. Ain't trying to do that. You know what I mean? 
that you chill on the reform saying just chilling. I don't want to. I don't want to. I told them they need thirty million. Everybody got to come and did it. Yeah, in a minute. Three more years, we gotta up the podcast a billion. No, no, this is what the white calls. Next time, next time we're gonna get a snapper. We're gonna go the runway. Yeah. This nigga didn't got a jet. Oh man. I believe it. Man, W. Let me ask where we gave. Fly niggas out. Oh man. Come do the interview, nigga. Come do the interview. We sending the jet. I'm doing my next interview in Philly. We sending the jet. I'm coming through that bitch with a car on. Got a thousand cars, nigga. Real fast. <laughs> got a thousand What's cars. What's up, man? What the Eagles gonna do this year, man? What you mean what they gonna what do? We gonna do? We gonna do? What the fuck a Lion Cubs gonna do? They almost went. They almost went, cuz. We had our chance. We was gonna rock our jersey. Exactly. What? I had a video already ready. Yo, we had a shit. Nigga, I was ready. Barry said his jersey all kind of I was shit. ready. I was, man, I, listen. Vegas would have, I would wanted to be Baltimore and Detroit. Oh, good oh, nigga. Good nigga. He think was, about his dick. Look at him. He ain't think about the Super Bowl. He think about his dick. Come on, the people. Come on. They say you keep something cold with you. Sweat. Oh, the uh, yeah, sad. Watch it. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> we leaving already? Man. What I'm talking about, baby. Leaving? Oh, this is fun. This nigga's crazy. <laughs> this nigga Doug is crazy. That's why G got it. He's more shorts. Get in. Yeah, this shit rock. Philly. Me and I was working. That nigga ain't not fucking with me. You know what time it is. We want $2 billion, man. Count me. Give me three M's, bro. They come with the K. Wow, this shit. Look, he done put himself in the mix. Yeah. yeah. $2 billion game. It's going down, baby.